Hi, preschool friends. Let's start off singing our Hello Neighbor song. Hello, neighbor. How do you do? I'm so happy to see you. Greet your neighbor. Boogie on down. Give a high five and turn around. Woo. How are you doing today? Is it a thumbs up day? I hope so. I'm having a great day too. Thank you. Let's start off with signing in your name. So if you have your writing tool and something to write on, please sign in your name. I'm going to use the lines today on my board to write Miss Stephanie. And I'm going to try to keep all my letters all my tall letters between the big lines, all my short letters between the dotted lines and the red line. Miss Stephanie. Here we go, almost done. There we go. I did it. All of my short letters are in between the dotted lines and the red line. And all my two tall letters are in between the solid blue and solid red line. Wow. All right. We're going to move on to some brain work today. Some brain work. Let's review some of our letters. Just a few of our letters. All right. I've got a letter up here for you. Can you tell me what letter this is? Just that letter. This one here, the letter A, F, F, apple, the letter A. What about this letter right here in the middle? Just that letter. What letter is this? B, B, B baby starts with B. And how about this last letter? C, carrot, C. So we have A, B, and C. Now I've got spe something special down here at the bottom for you. Now I have a pattern. And remember, a pattern is something that repeats itself. It goes over and over and over again. The same thing over and over. All right, so here is my pattern. We just looked at three letters, A, B, and C. Let's see if we can figure out our pattern. Oh, look, I see those letters again, those same letters. What letter is this? A, B, C. It almost makes me want to sing the ABC song, but I see over here, I have another letter. A, my pattern is starting to repeat. A, B, C. And then look what's next again. After the C is another A. My pattern is repeating again. A, B, C. Let's read this all together. A, B, C. A, B, C. A, B, C. What comes next in our pattern? All right, we'll read it one more time and see if you can figure out what comes next. Here we go. A, B, C. A, B, C. A, B, C. What comes next? After the C comes an A. Oh, my marker's not very bright there. A, and then another B, and then our C. Let me get my better marker so you can see that. A, B, C. There's our pattern and it repeats. All right. All 
All right, kiss your brain for working on that pattern. A, B, C, A, B, C, A, B, C. All right, next, I have a story for you. Hmm, do you know who this character is? Pete the cat. Our story is about Pete the cat. He is rocking in his school shoes. Some of us will move on to a bigger school or even a new school next year. Ooh, think about how exciting that's going to be. Maybe you're a little nervous about something new and that's okay. We're gonna read about Pete the cat rocking in my school shoes. And the author who writes the word is Eric Litwin. And the illustrator draws the pictures is James Dean. Pete the cat rocking in my school shoes is the title of our book. Let's see what Pete the cat does in his school shoes. Here comes Pete strolling down the street, rocking red shoes on his four furry feet. Pete is going to school and he sings this song. Sing it along with me, ready? I'm rocking in my school shoes. I'm rocking in my school shoes. I'm rocking in my school shoes. Okay, what is he about to get on? The school bus. Pete is sitting at his desk when his teacher says, come on Pete, down that hall to a room with books on every wall. Where is Pete going? What place? has a room with books on every wall. The library. He has never been to a library before, have you? Does Pete worry? Goodness, no. He finds his favorite book and sings his song. Sing along with me if you catch it. I'm reading in my school shoes. I'm reading in my school shoes. I'm reading in my school shoes. Oh, what is he reading about? I see a picture of a dinosaur and a kitty cat. Check out Pete, he's ready to eat. He's in a big noisy room with tables and seats. Where's Pete? Hmm, this year, we get to eat our lunches in our classroom at our tables with our friends. Maybe next year, we'll get to eat in a big noisy room with long tables and chairs or benches even. What is this room called? The lunch room. Some of you may call it cafeteria. It can be loud and busy in the lunch room. But does Pete worry? Goodness, no. So should you worry? Goodness, no. He sits down with his friends and sings his song. I'm eating in my school shoes. I'm eating in my school shoes. I'm eating in my school shoes.
He and his friends are playing outside on a green grassy field with swings and tall slides. Where's Pete? He has the playground. Kids are running in every direction. But does Pete worry? Should you worry? Goodness, no. He slides and swings and sings his song. I am playing in my school shoes. I am playing in my school shoes. I'm playing in my school shoes. All day long, Pete sings his song. I'm singing in my school shoes. I'm painting in my school shoes. I'm adding in my school shoes. I'm writing in my school shoes. All that fun stuff he gets to do at school. When school is done, Pete rides the bus home. Pete's mom asks him, what did you do at school today? And Pete says, I was rocking in my school shoes. I was rocking in my school shoes. I was rocking in my school shoes. And I will do it again tomorrow. Because it's all good. How exciting. That's the end of our book. So some of you might have some mixed feelings knowing that you might be going to a new school or into a bigger kid's classroom. And that's okay. But do we need to worry? Goodness, no. You'll do just fine. Go ahead and talk to your grown up about how you feel about a new classroom. Maybe you have some other new things, like a new slide, a new playground to play on. Oh, how exciting. New books to read, new teachers you get to meet, and maybe even some new friends. Super exciting. All right, now is the best part of our meeting. You're gonna get out your supplies that you got sent home, a bottle, a little bag of dirt, some seeds. And you may also need, you got a little ruler, paper or plastic one, a journal. And you have directions too that were sent home. All right, so if you're watching this, you shouldn't need the directions, but there's some good tips on the back. You may also need some water. If you have a spray bottle or just a little dish of water or just getting water from the faucet when we're ready. And tape would be useful too if you have any tape. You don't need it, but it could be useful if you have it. Once you get all your supplies together, you can pause the video until then, and then you can come back on and watch. All right, here we go. So first of all, what I want you to do is think about what we're gonna do here. Well, what do we have? We have seeds and dirt. And this thing here, the numbers on it. What are we doing? We're gonna grow some seeds, some grass seeds right here in this little dish. So first of all, you're actually gonna take your dirt. You can open it up just a corner of it just the corner of that dirt and pour it gently 
into your cup. And set it right on the table and pour it right into it. Go ahead and get your dirt into your cup. You don't want to fill it up all the way, but most of the way, kind of like this here. It's almost all the way up to the top, but not quite. All right. Once you've got dirt in your cup, you're going to go ahead and take your little dish of grass seeds and dump it all over the top. Kind of sprinkle it out so it's not in just one spot. You want to spread it out so that it looks kind of like this all across the top. If you need to, you can use your finger to kind of move them around a little bit. All right, I got my seeds in my cup. Uh, there we go, I dropped a few. And it's okay to make a mess because we can clean it up when we're all done. All right, now what else do you think we're gonna need? We have dirt, we put our seeds on top. Are we done? Not yet. Next, we're gonna need water. So go ahead and take some water and pour it in. You wanna get it nice and wet. You don't wanna soak it, but you wanna get it pretty wet. And once you do that, you wanna take the top of our bottle. There's the top. And take the top of your bottle. I'll show you here. Some of the bottles will fit over it very nicely. You can just kind of pry it over the top a little bit or just set it on right next to it. This is where the tape will come in handy. You're gonna, after you water it, make sure you get water in there first. Keep the lid on the bottle. The lid on the bottle. You're gonna tape it around that little crack. We're actually gonna seal it up. This is gonna be a special home for our plants. And I've got one right here for you to see once I tape it that on. All right. So you can see I got tape over that little crack right there. Some of the bottles, they'll slide right on top and you can do that. If you don't have tape, it should hold just as well if you take the top and slide it over. All right. So once you've got that sealed, you're going to go ahead and take your little ruler. Now you can see there's numbers on it. Look very closely. There's some numbers on it. Some numbers are closer together on one side. And some numbers are further apart on the other side. And that's okay. You want to make sure that the number one is down on the bottom and then the numbers go up. And you're going to tape that right where the dirt is on the bottle. So you don't want to put it, you don't want to put it down here, down at the bottom of it. You don't wanna put it way up here because we're actually gonna use this to measure how tall our grass is gonna grow. All right. So it should look something similar to this when you're done. But there's one more thing this grass will need. You think about it, let's see, we have dirt, we have water in there. We taped it shut so the water cannot get out. What else do plants need? Sunlight. Now we're going to put this in a window or somewhere where our bottle can get some sunlight. It's going to create a little greenhouse in here so our grass can grow. How awesome is that? I'm super excited. I can't wait to see it grow. All right. Now that we've got it all together, find a nice sunny spot. I will do that when our meeting is over. Well, I'm actually gonna have three different models because I wanna show you something. So in that bottle, I have the water in it, but I'm gonna make one without water. No water at all. I'm gonna seal it shut and measure it. Let's see what happens no water. And then I'm going to make a third one where I put water in it, but then I'm going to keep it back here and see what happens. So you can see I made a little chart behind me and we're going to start keeping track of what's going to happen to these bottles.
to the grass seeds in the bottles if we don't give it any water or if we don't give it any sunlight. What do you think is going to happen? I'm super curious. All right, so now we're done with that. But in your model at home, one with water in it, sealed shut. And if you're able to take your measuring, your ruler on, awesome. If not, you can always just pick up your ruler when you're ready to measure. You can always just pick it up and use it to measure then. Keeping in mind to keep it at the dirt level, not the bottom of the bottle and not up time, right where the dirt is. So the other thing that you had with you is this terrarium tracking journal. This is where we're gonna keep our predictions at. So when you open it up, you can color the front too if you want. But when you open it up, right here it says one day. So what do you think is gonna to happen to this grass seed after just one day? Is it gonna look the same? Or is it gonna to start to grow? And if you think it's gonna to start to grow, how tall do you think it's gonna be? So right here you can say, my plant will be one inches tall, five inches tall, 10 inches tall. Look at the numbers on the ruler and see how tall you think your grass is gonna be. So down here, it doesn't have it, but this is zero. And then you can see a number one here, number two, and number three and four, and it keeps going up. How tall do you think your grass is gonna grow after just one day? Write that number on that top line here and draw what you think your picture is gonna be, what the grass is gonna look like in the bottle. And then tomorrow, you're gonna open up your journal and you're gonna get your plant bottle out and you're gonna see, <gasps> What happened? And you're gonna draw it right here. We'll do that in our meeting tomorrow. But for now, I want you to write your prediction about what you think might happen tomorrow. All right, friends. I hope you have a great day and we're gonna enjoy watching our grass grow in our terrariums where we've locked in the water and we're gonna give it some good sunshine to get that water moving around. Bye. Thank you.